When Lizzo loses 10 pounds and announces it, the bots on Instagram, they attack her for losing weight because the media wants to put out a perception that being overweight is the new goal when it's actually unhealthy and for people to promote that it's demonic he's talking about this promotion but her ig hashtag is lizzo be eating but i agree with him it's demonic but to think that bots or fake accounts are being deployed whenever she posts something like that in order to change the narrative to stay the same size is completely nuts but it would make sense to a degree because the notion in this country is based off of wealth accumulation as well. a marriage childless women around the age of 40 are the unhappiest segment of the population the phrase follow the money perfectly describes this situation Unmarried childless women think of cat food and box wine subscriptions, not to mention pills. Some women marched and protested for equal rights, but once they have them, they either revert to their privileges, ignoring the equality they fought for, or simply blame an external agent. The labor market isn't all that sweet, no pun intended. Some ideologies have been widely promoted because they benefit society's rulers, while the average citizen, particularly men, bears the brunt of the consequences. The irony is that simply because the mass media machine promotes a narrative, some people believe that these corporations and governments care about them. It's no surprise that there's more division than ever, and it's difficult to have a healthy debate instead of a decent conversation as grown-up adults. Many people prefer being right over learning something new. You prefer your bachelor's lifestyle to being unhappy married, explaining yourself all the time, and pleasing everyone now that you're on your way. If you set boundaries in a relationship, such as not allowing your girlfriend to go out to the club, you will most likely be labeled insecure and controlling, even if you do not go out to the club yourself. In today's video, you'll learn more about leftover women and why they're so unhappy. So I read an article that was published in Psychology Today. The title reads, Why Many Single Women Without Children Are So Happy. First and foremost, single women without children are extremely unhappy especially once they reach the age of 40 and their fertility has ceased. According to an article published in Evie Magazine, which is created by Women for Women, married men are the happiest demographic, 39 years old with a child, but the unhappiest is a 42-year-old woman with a professional job and a $100,000 salary. Money, after all, does not buy happiness. When a woman says she spends money on makeup or a particular garment to make herself feel more confident, ask her if she wears makeup when she's alone in her house. Why would she wear red lipstick when no one else is at home? You get the idea right. Second, it's self-evident that women have larger social networks outside of romantic relationships. According to statistics, 50% of married women have a backup plan, which explains why men prefer not to commit to a woman. People now sleep around and cheat on each other because society has gotten out of hand. If you're a man on a date with a woman, you're probably not the only man she's testing. They're still not happy now that they have some equality. It appears that giving her what she wants is insufficient, and she will continue to demand more until she finds someone better and dumps the guy in question. Third, when it comes to finding a partner, women are unquestionably more picky than single men. Because men are used to rejection and failure, whereas women are not, the man develops character and strives to become stronger, whereas the woman believes she is great until she is rejected. That's when she gets a huge reality check and realizes that having certain assets still is enough to get a guy but it's not enough to keep him long term. Certain ideologies were funded by society's powerful people in order to give women equal access to the labor market. Was this because these powerful people cared about women's well-being? Absolutely not. They pushed all of these policies and ideas in order to become richer. As more people entered the labor force, governments could tax more workers and increase revenue. And guess what? Governments around the world receive more tax revenue than ever before, but public debt continues to rise. In today's world, both husbands and wives work 9-5 to five jobs and spend a lot of time outside the house, so the children are more likely to be indoctrinated and perpetuate this problem. He buy into their system, and this is not some bold, far-fetched statement, and men are becoming aware of this scam. Men do not want to work multiple hours to get home, argue with their wives over trivial matters, or even educate children who have been programmed by the school system. Fortunately, single men usually get along well and enjoy their solitude, on the other hand, women who prefer not to have children end up unhappy despite earning a lot of money. Don't forget to hit the like button to help spread the word about this video. Thank you for taking your daily dose of red pills, and remember that a red pill a day keeps bad poker hands away. So have a good rest of your day and cheers.